Hey guys, um, indicator 16 now. And this one is just like, you know, going off further than ratio. We had done that in the earlier indicator uh, where we said ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. Now we are going to talk about rate. Okay, so indicator 16, the learning target, I can write a ratio as a unit rate. Okay, so our vocabulary in this, uh, we have rate and we have unit rate. Okay, so when we say rate, uh, a rate is a ratio of two quantities using different units. So we are going to use different units. So if I say, um, I'm giving you an example, a dollar twenty-seven for um, let's say three pizzas. Okay, uh, so here uh, $27 when I say that, so this is a different unit and this is another unit, uh, sorry, the pizza is another unit, so therefore uh, we know that this is a rate. In a rate, you have got to place the units. That's what makes it different from just a ratio. A rate has a unit attached to it when you're comparing. Uh, miles per gallon, that is an example, okay? Um, $27 for three pizzas. So that is a different unit, different unit, where the dollar sign and the pizza are two different things. So, but you've got to write it over there so you know what you're comparing, all right? A uh, unit rate is when you're comparing uh, the quantity to one unit of another quantity. So if I just had, when I have the rate and I said uh, $27 for three pizzas, in order to make it a unit rate, my denominator has got to be one because it's per unit. So if I took this and I said convert this rate to a unit rate, I would write one pizza over here and I would divide the 27 by the three. Basically you divide the numerator by the denominator, okay? Well, I know that three divided by three gives me one, so I would do the same thing to the numerator and 27 divided by three and I would get $9 for one pizza. So in unit rate, my denominator has got to be one, all right? So let's write some rates and let's say, uh, you know, in a jalapeno, a pepper eating contest, you do have people like that who do stuff like that. I'm like, whoa, okay. So let's say the person ate um, 70 peppers in three minutes. And they really do that, guys. I'm like, I just don't know what they're thinking, but okay. Uh, so let's say they ate 70 peppers in three minutes. Write it as a rate, okay? Remember, you have got to put the unit. So I would write, 70 peppers over three minutes. So that is a rate because look, the unit is written out here. The unit is written out here. In math, the unit um, is like, you know, when we say units, we're talking about uh, this. What are we talking about? And then the standard units would be like inches, feet, kilometers, miles. Uh, these are all different. We have the US customary units and then we have the metric system. So those are all what mathematical units mean, okay? So uh, let me give you another situation. And let's say we have uh, $24 for four medium pizzas. So if you were supposed to write that, you would write the unit, which is the dollar sign, because talk about money. So 24, or you could do and zero, zero for the cents. It doesn't matter, but you would have just written $24 over four p 
pizzas. So we said four medium pizzas are this much. So these are rates. All right. Now uh, we are going to convert rates to unit rates next. And once again, in order to convert it to a unit rate, all I have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay. So, um, Let's say I'll give you a problem and in there it says, um, you know, a space shuttle in orbit is traveling at 70,000 miles in four hours. Okay, so if I say in four hours, this is now written out as a rate and we are going to convert it to a unit rate Unit rate means that my denominator has got to be one hour. Whatever the denominator is, has to be changed to one hour. And that can happen by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Or basically, what am I doing? I'm doing four divided by four. That gave me one. Whatever I do to the uh, denominator, I do the same thing to the numerator. So this has to be divided by four also. So if we do 70,000 divided by four, I have one times four is four, and I get three. I bring this down. Four times seven is 28, and I get two down because I cannot take away eight from this, so I borrow and this becomes 10. And I bring a zero down. Four times five is 20, and I get zero. And then I have two zeros, which I have got to add. Do not forget the zeros at the end. So therefore, my unit rate of this is 17,500 miles in one hour. So that is how you calculate unit rate. Now, you also have unit cost. Okay, you also have unit cost and you have to figure out which one is the better buy. So let's go ahead and solve uh, a problem which has to do with uh, dog food. And so, I am going to So you'll be given a unit rate, uh, you'll be given a rate and you have to calculate which one is the better buy, okay? So, uh, if I say a 20 pound dog food is um for dollar 1720. Okay? And then there's a 40 pound bag for $33.60. All right? And we have to see which one is the better buy. Okay? Now, remember one thing in math. Okay? Whenever you're finding unit cost, the money is always going to be the dividend and then you divide by the quantity okay so when i say that that means don't look at oh, hey 20 is written first so that becomes the dividend no that's not how it works the price always goes inside and is the dividend because we have to find the price per item so 17 20 divided by 20. So that's how cost has got to go in. Otherwise, you're going to make a mistake. All right, because we are finding the unit cost price per item. So remember what we did when we did decimals? Decimal goes above decimal. And then 17 cannot be divided by 20. So you put a zero here. Okay. And then we have. Uh, 
172. So if I say 8 times 2 is 16 and 8 times 0 is 0, I get this number. Okay? Um, and so I get 2 here. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring this down. All right? And I know that 2 times 6 is 12, and then 6 times 0 gives me 0. And so this is going to be 86 cents. Um, my unit rate would be 86 cents for 1 pound. So this is for this one. All right? For the other one, for this other bag, Again, price goes in, is the dividend, and we are going to divide by 40. Okay? Decimal above, decimal, we have done this in the past. 33 cannot be divided by this, it's a smaller number, so we're going to put a zero. And then we're going to take 336. And I get 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 0 is 0. And then I subtract. 6 minus 0 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. And I bring the 0 down. And then I can see 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 0 is 0. And so in this one, my uh, unit cost, I have 84 cents for one pound. Now, here is another thing that you have got, got to remember. Where money is concerned for any customer, when you pay less, that is the better buy. Think about when you go shopping. You'll always look at, hey, this is better uh, because it is uh, cheaper. You're paying less, uh, so you have more money left. And that is why we go shopping uh, the day after Christmas or the Thanksgiving sales and all these sales because we have to dish out less money. So as a customer, when you are spending less, that will be the better buy for you. So don't go by the bigger decimal because then that'll be a big mistake, all right? You want to spend less so you have more money left, okay? So when I look at 86 cents for one pound, which is for this one. And then the 40 pound bag, when I'm finding the unit cost, I get 84 cents for one pound. So guess what? I have spent less money here. And that is why this dog food is the better buy. Please remember again, for a customer, cheaper. That's what you're trying to see. Cheaper is better for your pocket. Now we're not talking about the quality of the, uh, the food and stuff like that because we're just talking about how much you're spending because that is why we go on sales and all uh, and things because you end up spending less money. That's what we're talking about. Okay. So cheaper is better. So where unit cost is concerned, please remember once again, the money is always going to be the dividend. It will be divided by the divisor, which is uh, the product, uh, the quantity of the product. And then you find the price per item, all right? And then you'll know which is the better buy based on for which one you are spending less money. So in this, the higher decimal is not a good thing. You want the less decimal um, as the cost, okay? So once again, remember rate, you have got to put the unit, okay? You're comparing two quantities with different units. Um, also, unit rate means the denominator has got to be one. You've got to write whatever the quantity is. Don't forget writing the units uh, over one of the other quantities. And then for unit cost, the price is always going to be the numerator. And then over the quantity, that is going to be the denominator. And you always find the price per item. And then the one in which you are spending less money is the better buy. All right? Okay, have a great day, guys.